Bloomin Genoese. I still really want to fight them, but Austria... Yeah, he would come knocking. Hmm. It's a shame they managed to get Mantrega there. If only Crimea actually wasn't crap. Uh, Volition, or Voltion99, is asking about modding opportunities for Random New World. The Random New World is so extremely moddable. It's uh, on a tile system, and all the tiles there are really easy to open up. Change all the weightings for them, make your own, it's dead simple. Um, yeah, there's not much more to it than that. It is easy peasy. With that said, I'm probably not going to give you a tutorial. Right, Baghdad still needs to go down. But those rebels are about to pop up. I need to make uh, need to make a range here. Ugh, but I also need to pay my units if I want to fight the rebels, and I don't have money. And I don't want to spend money. Hmm? Oh shoot, I need more than that to take them on. Uh, oh well. I need even more than that. This is getting crazy. Let's be brave. Oh wait, wrong stream. Perhaps I shouldn't have dismissed that one unit that I had. That lack of money is a bit punishing here. Even if we do f throw that money towards Persia. There's the thing, it's actually uh, Bashra that we dominate, but Bashra doesn't have much worth, so it's as well throwing it into Persia. Excellent. 445 with a not too shabby air, actually he's sub average, but what are you going to do? Gets us our missionary strength, gets us the prestige, and gets us that unrest, which is all amazing. It's a shame he's so old, 40 at the throne. Let's have our. Uh, Let's have our glorious heir take to the front lines. They need to die. Right, 90% on those rebs. They're going to pop. And we need to be ready for them when they do. Hopefully they pop really soon, because the treasury cannot handle this situation. Absolutely, we are best friends. No, the treasury really cannot <laughs> keep this situation going. Uh, it's all fun and games, right? Phew! That's a relief. Alright, Baghdad, welcome to the world of... Goodbye. Iraq may join a coalition. Too bad. And we're taking that money, because... Oh, that's a shame. I could have forced religion if you were a co-belligerent. But... Mm. Having them as a co-belligerent would also invite Persia and Hassa. Hassa, huh? Sunni land. I've been wanting that for a while. In any case, Baghdad's got to go. It's another fort that i got to pay for, though. Uh, okay, but you have no cores on me, because that's just a pain. Ah, oh, feels good to have money again. Uh, thinking about it, with this we have a wall against Persia. They would have to go to these two provinces to get through to us, so that's good. Uh, it's questionable having a fort on my capital. I think I'm just going to get rid of that. Since it's highlands as well, it's not that great. and It's been costing me money all this time. Sure, it's actually costing me tons of money in all this time, but uh, what are you going to do? I want to be ready for Persia and destroy them when uh, it comes to it. As for you, you've got to go, and I need all your money that you've been making from trade. Inflation for me, I'm glad I didn't drag. Oh, I could force religion if I didn't take the money. And that would force religion on an 18 development province. I want the money, though. Uh, Bit of an exploit that you can force religion on capital. You'll be uh, happy to know that's been fixed internally. But that won't be out for this, I don't think. 
Alright, good enough. Chomp. Now we even border the Timurids. 278. Now, it's pretty tempting not to uh, burn this province to the ground, but looking at those, can you even resist? Well, we are going to resist for once. I'm going to burn this one down, sure. But uh, this one is an important center of trade, dealing in silk with already really high levels. And it doesn't really have any increased scoring cost. And we have a claim, so I'm happy enough to do that. This province, I'm not bothering with a fort here. That can go away. Increasing autonomy because uh, Shia. Or Shiite. I preferred it when it was Shiite. And yeah, Baghdad is a great province, but uh, not great enough, I don't think. Actually, that, that goes a bit against it. The same reason that I kept this one unburned is the reason that I'm burning you. Is there sense in that? Well, kind of, because you're Shia. And plus, it's Baghdad. Goodbye, Baghdad. It says it's zero autonomy, but I think that's going to update on the turn of the month. And through a very fortunate event, we keep our uh, keep our piety sky high. We'll get those conversions done in no time. Yeah, see, there we go. But I really don't want more problems with Iraqis. So there we go. And all is well. Oh, this isn't well. What's happening? Shoot. The tribe's influence is too big, and this is ticking up. It's going to be done in 50 months. That's 5-0. They have too much influence over me. And none of these are going to be done quick enough. Yeah, they're going to be done in uh, like four years or so. And this quickest thing, Raise Host, is going to be going away in five years. So I'm going to have to pull some of their support. Hi, drone, I'm sick. Jake, don't show the disaster. That's my job. Oh, I'll just hold your horses on that one. We'll th we'll figure something out. But I have got to avoid that disaster. Ah, oh, shoot. The whole reason I had you guys down here was to deal with them. But wait. There might just be time. They might make it. Godspeed. Kind of doubting it. Kill them. Don't like any uh, troublemakers in my land here. I'm gonna merge them together because again, I don't care much for infantry as a horde. It's just inefficient. And it's the Georgians that wish to rise up, so we may as well hang around there only to get surprise attacked again. How did the tribes get plus seven influence without you giving them provinces? Haha, -ha, now there's an interesting point. But in terms of the core provinces I own, like I added non-core provinces, but I don't think they're weighted for it. Let's have a look here. Haha, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Didn't I also complete some cores there? No, that's it, of course. It went plus 10 because I had number of cities increase. And the more cities I have, the more the tribes are taking control of me. Okay, that's concerning. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, reprimand my tribes here. Now, this is a problem, because when you get really big, you can be punished for being a tribe. Ugh. Artisans are never happy. Do I even have artisans? making all that, taking away all that money that I'm making here. Alright, but the fact that we have this looming disaster is worrying a bit. What can I do about you? Sure, why not? Uh, okay, at least it's going up a bit slower, provided that it doesn't keep going up nastily. Uh, that's enough time for the uh, raised host modifier to go away. 
trouble is I'm too big. <clears throat> Katakinlu and... Uh, we consider... We both now consider uh, Crimea to be of vital interest. But I can take those away and they should rethink that. There we go. Now we're just as unlikely as before to get our alliance. What a shame. What a shame. Fortunately, you're still on the whole uh, converting your provinces spree, and I really like that. Let's make some royal babies, and I would really like to integrate you just to get some more Sunni land in my country. Jake Birdman is getting up there. Not that I'm a fan of the phrase bird mana. Jeez, the Georgians are at it again. Can't keep people happy now, can I? It's Ottoman land that would be much better for me, considering that that's uh, right up my alley. Okay, how long would you take then? Five years? And I reckon you'll get that. Uh, converted within five years. Easily. Well, unless you have any real big problems, but still, I want you inside me. Who is that province? But I'm not about to be gung-ho on my uh, close ally here. Ooh, lovely. That just puts the Ottomans at war with Austria. Opportunity knocks, and it is big and green. If the Ottomans get floored here... I'll, I'm able to catch up in tech at a moment's notice, and I have friends that are very happy to jump them. Mamluks will take the south, I take the north. There are four forts on this side, and I have no boats to help out here, but... Hmm. Yeah, I can make this work. I mean, that entirely depends on uh, Austria being strong at this point. Shame Poland's still not up for it. But yeah, we'll keep our finger on that pulse. Bloomin' Lumen disaster. I could revoke some trout. My theologian died. And now I'm considered making more money so these guys become available. Well, we're going full uh, purge the heretics here. He might be a little old. 5% yearly death risk. I reckon we could do something with you. Can you time your integrations to complete at the same time? Well, I guess I could, but I actually don't want to integrate Armenia right now. Because it's Coptic land. I don't want that. That's nice to have a vassal, isn't it? And what am I fighting for? Now that I'm quite a bit bigger, horde unity is going down faster. Minus 3.4 every year. Used to just be 2 point something. Persia getting destroyed. I mean, there are places to expand to, but I have to consider the limits of my own frame here. And the fact that Ottomans could end up being a delicious target right now. I mean, the fact... Oh, they're at war with France. Mm. Yes, that's opportunity. Unfortunately, I got these rebels that want to pop up. Everybody else is incredibly unlikely to pop, so that's no big issue. Uh, once my cores are done, I'll raise my uh, stability. I just want these blooming Georgians to rise up. Oh, they, they got Tech 7. Tech 7 is uh, rather nasty. It's another dose of uh, tactics. Well, I gotta play catch up here. You need 1,216 blooming Ottomans. They start with a 12 year old uh, ruler, and he's really good. He really breaks the rules of the game. Pull that trigger, Jake. You're never gonna get a better opportunity. This is true, and I will pull the trigger. But I want to uh, have him get a little invested there first. I mean, he outtakes Mamluks by two. At least the Mamluks aren't in any wars at the moment. And I have the favor to call them in. I'll call in Golden Horde as well, because gung-ho. But the lovely thing is, because I use favor for this, I'm not promising them land. So if we check out the Mamluks... Uh, actually, are they even interested in any Ottoman land? 
Oh, there's the thing. Well, it matters not. The fact is I'd be calling them and using favours, which means they don't expect land. So even if they do 90% of the work, I'm like, hey, thanks a lot. I'm taking everything now. And they'll be like, it's cool. Because, you know, we spent favours on that. Once those Georgians pop, we'll be ready to uh, nestle into position. I've got to keep an eye on this, though. Okay, excellent. This is good because they have a lot of units on the back line that are going to do uh, pretty much nothing. Pop. Doesn't cost us money to reinforce them. And we're pretty good. Anyone else that wants to rise up is not going to be doing it anytime soon. Tabaristan, perhaps? Eh. No, we need to uh, we need to prepare. As they say, there is no better point. Constantinople is under siege by okay, admittedly, four thousand rather confused Austrians right now. You know what? I think we should just pull the bloomin' trigger right now. Tunis will not join in. Clemson is probably a non, uh, no, not a nonce, a non-consideration. Tribal conquest. We're probably not going to win the battles for it, but we'll do it anyway. Alright, there really is no better opportunity. Let's do it. Let's just do it, because why not? We need to pay those forts. Money is going to be hurting, but we can pay for that through uh, s uh, looting. Alright, so where do we even hit up first? The trouble is if we run into any decent number of their units, they're going to trash us quite hard, and they definitely have uh, the high seas under control. But Poland are enemies with them, and they will probably allow access for the Golden Horde to slip on through if, they, if the Golden Horde makes that attempt. Alright, let's get to it. May as well go for those forts. They have got to go. No. Well, I mean, what's Basra even going to do? Apart from not make me money. Alright, let's hit them right where it hurts the most, or at least it hurts me the most. The wallet. My William wallet. Now this is nice, I can actually go and uh, attack areas that are adjacent to forts, which is why Sinop and Castamono are accessible, questionably perhaps, but uh, that's because there's another fort over here in Akara getting in our way. I just have to hope that the Ottomans are not in a position to come and get us. They cleared out Constantinople, so they could well be, but along come our many friends, our friends who do not expect anything. As in, they don't expect uh, help. Nor shall they receive it. Oh, hello! <laughs> that was... That was fast. You're going to kill me, aren't you? These are highlands. You are pretty strong. Well, see ya. Uh, I need to make a good escape here. You're already tied to that. Damn. Alright, make good your escape. I ain't dealing with that. Hell no. Let's become the fastest man alive and get out of there. Scattering doesn't seem like a good idea, but... Holy crivens, they want me dead. But I reckon they're probably going to go for the Mamluks. That's Highlands, that's not too bad. We should prepare. Yeah, they are definitely going for them. I want to uh, help them out, even though they're probably going to get trushed, uh, crushed. Well, it's not even a probably, it's they are going to get crushed. That's five shock as well. 
Five shock, two tech advantage. I want to help, but <laughs> I know a, uh, a lost battle when I see one. It's a shame. If my units were closer, I totally uh, would have, could have helped out. But they're sent running. Okay. Not the best start. In fact, one could say an awful start. You guys, decide your own thing. I don't really mind if you uh, go off on your own. Okay, this is actually kind of nice. Even though it hurts their loyalty, I have an event now that will reduce their influence. And their influence is too high. This is an excuse to weaken us. Also, they want my manpower. That's not how things work. So, there we go. That gets us out of the red for the uh, disaster, thankfully. But this is a worrying development. I have so few troops. And they've decided to... Uh, come along and just really hurt us. Oh boy. Oh boy. This isn't so hot. Unless they're going for Aleppo. They are going for Aleppo. Might be dry lands, but we can certainly throw in a... Uh... No, you fools. Oh well. In for a penny. In for a freaking pounding. We've got our wave of devotion, so we can uh, convert some of the more difficult provinces faster now. Save them! Oh my lord. Yeah, we're just lambs to the slaughter here. I mean, we gave as good as we uh, got, but we got pretty trashed. What would be the disaster if it fired? 50% extra tech and idea cost and development cost. It would have been pretty awful. And they even have it ahead of time. That's a uh, six military monarch for a long time for you. Uh. Okay, so that hurt. No doubt about that. Yeah, and the Mamluks have uh, rebel problems. So glad I don't have to pay for reinforcements, otherwise this would just be horrible. But what I can do is get my ten to ones. Even though our ruler is old and very likely to die in battle, I cannot deny the usefulness of him right now. So you see the uh, Mamluks are here? I'm actually surprised. Like, really surprised. The Ottomans should uh, be trashing any navies. Ah, of course Genoa's probably weighing in on the situation. Uh, but what I'm saying is they can't actually blockade their movement because they control both sides of the strait here. Unless I got myself over there and occupied uh, both of them, actually, we wouldn't be able to prevent them at all. And that's probably not going to happen. Okay, not liking how we have all these exiled troops from the north there. Hello, Tlemcen. Are you keen to leave this war? Please say yes. Okay, Tlemcen got separate pieced, so hopefully that means these guys are going to run their way back and then uh, trash some auto skulls. Hopefully. Jake, you could scorch some provinces to starve the Turks. No. Uh, maybe that requires some backing up. Uh, scorching would be good for forts, but they're not really sieging up our forts at the moment. Oh jeez, they are sieging up our men. Pull back, lads. I wish I had a larger army of horses, but I simply can't afford it. Okay, we'll see what they make of this then. There's pulling the trigger and there's jumping the gun. I think you did the latter, Jake. Nah, we did what's right. And look, everything's just coming together. Don't like how that is a fort that they've got control over, but... Look at him, he's running. He's turning tail and running. 
Let's get our siege mentality back on track. Quarantine, let him die. And let the loot roll in. You're limited to, uh, I think it's five ducats a month on the looting, but you already knew that. I really need to make my move on the forts here. The trouble is, this one is actually fairly meaningless. It doesn't open up any opportunities. Ankara opens up opportunities. Teke opens up opportunities. But this is Highlands, and it's not quite so deep into the enemy territory. Tempting on both sides, but I really want that plus one stab, which I promised myself a while back. And the Iraqis are getting at it again, but really only in Baghdad. Probably because we're converting it with a bit of luck. They won't rise up until it's finished. Or rather... Yeah, it'll be fine. This isn't so fine, though. It's a lot of Ottomans. But they're uh, they're split here. Because, yeah, <laughs> they, got, uh, they got scary armies on both sides. Hopefully they think ours is more scary, because it's really not. Jake, are France and Austria and Genoa still in the fray? They are indeed. And uh, it's not really decisive one way or the other, which is great. So hopefully it uh, goes on for a long time. Good. The Ottomans are moving in in that direction. Hopefully they get slaughtered. Whilst our allies kind of help us out. Maybe. Let's force their navy out as well. Make them play with the French and Genoese fleets. Right, now I'm suddenly so glad that Genoa did well up in Crimea so that they uh, get up in Ottoman business like this. Can't really afford to lose my piety in such an important war, even if admin is very important. Let's keep that piety sky high. We also need it for conversions. Alright, this is acceptable. I'm actually kind of sad that Byzantium got annexed so quickly. I really wanted to raise a Byzantine Constantinople. I suppose I still could. Eh. Why can't I release Byzantium? Maybe I'm just blind, or maybe there's a reason. Jake, Rebs in Genoa. Genoa may peace out soonish. Nah, these are nothing. There are no Rebs on forts. Besides, everything's coming up Thrill House. Uh, I should get this fort as well. Oh, nice, that'll give us some free units. And look, some of them already pre-positioned on the fort for us. Integration is not a fast process. Just lovely. I mean, Genoa isn't covering rebels here, where it matters. Uh, I would quite like to know how Austria is doing, though. Wait, no would help if I looked at the right person here. Austria is 135 in debt. Is anyone allied to France? Oh, hello, Hungary. Wish I'd revealed you a lot earlier, because you're good to know about. And you hate the Turk. Don't you worry, though. Soon there will be no Turk left to hate. As expected, Baghdad is done, so there'll be no more uprisings from you guys. Means I need to focus on a non Baghdadi province to convert. I'm not going to have a large army anytime soon. Well, that's an easy quota to hit, though. I mean, I'm at 18. I need one more unit to be alright. Sure, we'll do it. Why not? Let's do it fast, though. Let's just get a single Eastern Archer and throw it into the meat grinder. In the meantime, I think if anywhere needs to be converted, it's these bloody Georgian lands since they like to uh, rise up against us. Easy money. 